Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to your Android mobile phone. This phone is a Samsung S10 Plus, but the same procedure will apply to other phones as well. So we're going to use two fingers to scroll down from the top and that will bring up the menu here and you can see Bluetooth is already turned on on this phone. If it's turned off on your phone, just hit the icon. If it's already turned on, then hit just below the icon, otherwise you're gonna turn it off and that will bring us into the Bluetooth menu. So I'm tapping where it just says Bluetooth and now I'm gonna to go to details. So this is now in pairing mode here, but by the time we've synced up this one here, this one will probably be timed out, so we need to re-scan it. So now to put this into pairing mode, we need to hold the create button and the PlayStation button at the same time. It makes it much easier to hold this one down first, otherwise you might accidentally hit the PlayStation button first and then it won't go into sync mode. So I'm pressing and holding the create button and pressing and holding the PlayStation button. After about three seconds, you will see it will start strobing around here. We can now let go because this is now in pairing mode. Right, so now this is timed out, so we just need to go to scan and already has come up with wireless controller. So we're going to tap wireless controller here and it says pairing and it says Bluetooth pairing request, pair with wireless controller, cancel or pair, I'm going to hit pair and now it says connected wireless controller and if you have a look, I've got the blue light around here, so now yeah, there we go, we are connected. If I was to go to home, let's see if it moves around. Yes, it does. There you go, so that's how you connect up your DualSense controller to your Android mobile phone. This might be useful if you want to play certain mobile games. Remember, they're not all going to be compatible, and sometimes the buttons here won't make sense to what the phone is displaying, unless, of course, you can remap the actual buttons in the game itself. If I want to disconnect it, I can use two fingers to go down from here. I can tap on where it says wireless controller underneath the Bluetooth, and now I can just tap where it says wireless controller and you will see that this blue light here will disappear because it's been disconnected. There we go, so that's now disconnected and your phone is back to normal. When you want to connect this back up to your PlayStation 5, you will have to use the cable because it will no longer be synced to your PlayStation 5. If we want to connect it onto the phone again, watch this, all we have to do is turn it on by hitting the PlayStation button there and you can see already it's synced up with the phone here. So that is how you connect up your DualSense controller to your Android phone. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Take care, everyone.